My name is Anna Hill and I am a medical herbalist. I also practice manual lymph drainage and I massage pregnant women. I've always been interested in natural medicine, but I've also always wanted to be a scientist. What I really liked about herbal medicine is that it, it combines the two. It does use natural products. I could go out and pick some herbs from the wild. However, the science is in there as well. There are scientific books, there are, is scientific data showing how herbs work. That's why I became a herbalist. That's why I originally wanted to train as a herbalist. However, I now enjoy many aspects of being a medical herbalist. I enjoy going out for walks, identifying plants, picking them. I enjoy making products from scratch, making lip balms and creams and tinctures. And I really enjoy working with people, having one-to-one -one sessions with patients and trying to find solutions for them through diet as well as through using natural products and herbs. A medical herbalist uses herbs to treat a wide range of medical conditions. They train for up to four years full time to be able to recognise conditions and treat them using herbs. During this time, they learn anatomy, physiology, differential diagnosis, as well as botany and nutrition. Because of this, they are able to identify plants in the wild. They're also able to recognize med different medical conditions. They know about the medicines you may be on and also are able to make sure that any herbs they give you will not interact with any medication that you are on. They can also recommend changes in diet to suit your condition. Medical herbalism can treat many, many different conditions. Short-term conditions such as coughs and colds can be treated very effectively by herbal medicine. Long-term conditions, whether they are skin conditions like eczema, digestive conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, or joint conditions such as arthritis can also be treated by herbal medicine. Even if there is a time when you think, or the herbalist thinks, that herbal medicine maybe cannot treat that specific condition, the herbalist can still use herbs to get you into a better state of health so that maybe you're in a slightly better position when you go in for an operation. Maybe reduce the stress around a treatment of a condition that you're getting from the doctor. So herbal medicine can be useful for most conditions. Medical herbalists are trained to recognise and know about the medicines that a doctor may prescribe for you. They are also trained to make sure they give you herbs that do not contradict any of the medications that the doctors have given you. Therefore you can see a herbalist even though you are on medication from your doctor. Many pharmaceutical drugs are derived originally from herbs. So the difference might not be as big as you think. Herbalists believe that using a herb, a whole herb, is safer than using a drug from, that's been developed in a pharmaceutical way. Just like many people believe it is better to get your nutrients, your vitamins and your minerals from a diet of foods rather than taking it in a little tablet, a herbalist believes that it is safer and better for you to get your drugs from a whole food or a whole herb rather than something that has been manufactured in a lab. There are a number of different qualifications that a medical herbalist can hold. I'm a member of the National Institute of Medical Herbalists, NIMH and they hold a register of herbalists that have completed a degree in herbal medicine. You can see a medical herbalist instead of a doctor, but many herbalists work as complementary therapists. This means that they see the work they do as complementing other medical work, 
complementing any treatments you get from your doctor. And most people I see, see their doctor as well as seeing their herbalist. There are a number of herbs that are available over the counter. However, a herbalist has access to a far wider range of herbs. Also, a herbalist is trained and is knowledgeable in the uses of these herbs. Many herbs have a number of uses, so it is not necessarily the case that one herb is useful for bladder conditions and one herb is useful for lung conditions. Going to see a herbalist ensures that you get the right herbs for your situation and for your condition. It also ensures that you do not use them for too long or for too short a time to get the right results. And also, a herbalist can make sure that any herbs will not interact with any medication that you are on. A herbalist consultation can last up to an hour long. This gives the herbalist time to get to know you, get to know the condition that you are suffering from, and also find out about your, your state of health, any medical conditions you have had in the past. At the end of this time, the herbalist will get together a prescription of herbs specifically for you at that time. A herbalist is also trained to give a physical examination if that is required. Look at the joints if you have arthritis. Take your blood pressure if your blood pressure is high. And this may also be done during the consultation. Okay.